Hey guys, so today we're going to do five three graphing radical functions and we're going to start by focusing on the parents. So our two parent functions are going to be y equals um, the square root of x and y equals the cube root of x. So I want you to just take a little note of our x values. These are going to be um, the original parent key points and they're this way because they're the first either three perfect squares or cubes. So uh, given those, I'd like you to substitute those into your equations and figure out your y values and try plotting your points. And um, at this time, pause the video and do this with your groups. So I finished finishing, I finished finishing, I finished um, my table and plotted. So. Square root, let's start there. Square root of 0 is 0, square root of 1 is 1, and square root of 4 is 2. And then you plot your points, and you get this nice curve. Uh, for the cubed root, cubed root of negative 1 is negative 1, cubed root of 0 is 0, and cubed root of 1 is 1. And when you plot your points, it might not be super intuitive on how the graph looks, but I believe I did graph it for most of my classes, if not all, so you guys might know what it looks like. All right, let's talk about domain and range real quick. So for square root, remember your domain is x, and how left do we go? So we go all the way to 0, and it includes 0, uh, and it keeps going right infinitely, and we can't include infinity, so it's a soft bracket. Our range is actually the exact same thing because it only goes down until 0 and then it's going to go up infinitely. Now cubed root is going to be slightly different. Um, we're going to be going to the left infinitely and to the right infinitely. So our domain and same with our range again is negative infinity to infinity and we have soft brackets. So let's talk about transformations. So this is going to be very 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 similar to what it's been in the past. Uh, your equations are laid out the exact same way as um, absolute value and quadratic and uh, rational. So one option is to rearrange in a way you like. Uh, and I'm going to just rearrange this one so that you guys can see. This 3 is not being multiplied by a radical. So a common mistake would to think that we have a dilation or reflection, but we don't. Now you don't have to rewrite it but you can to kind of save yourself. So the first thing that um, you should do is list your transformations. So our plus two is going to be a translation and you need to use the appropriate vocab. So translate and it's plus two and it's uh, with our X. So that's gonna be left two. And then our minus three it's going to be another translation and that's going to be down 3. So remember inside or with our x value uh, ends up being the opposite of what you think. Um, so now that we have our transformations, let's make a table. So if you remember in the past when I taught this to you, um, I showed you that you can, we're transforming the parent key points. So start with your parent key points. So this parent is the square root of x, right? Our index is 2. So those x values, our key points are going to be 0, 1, and 4, the first three perfect um, squares. The square root of 0 is 0, square root of 1 is 1, and the square root of 4 is 2. And now what we're going to do, here I'll change the color, is we're going to expand our table with the transformations. So if it's being translated left 2, our x values are going to decrease. And if it's going down 3, our y values are going to decrease as well. Remember, when you're making your table, this comes from the words. It does not come from the equation. All right, and then we substitute. So it's 0 minus 2. 
what's 1 minus 2 and 4 minus 2? And what's the original y minus 3? It's negative 3. Uh, 1 minus 3. And 2 minus 3. Okay. Now, these are the points that I'm going to graph. Negative 2, negative 3. Uh, negative 1, negative 2. And 2, negative 1. And then make your curve. Which is hard to do on this um, surface. Yours should probably look a little curvier than mine. Alright, let's move on to number 2. Alright, so looking at example 2, uh, if you want we can rewrite it. Right, so uh, this one it's easier to see that this is not uh, dilation. But just in case, I'm just going to move it to the other side. So it's more traditional what you're used to. So let's list those transformations. We have that negative, which is a reflection. So reflect. Over the x-axis. V2 is on the outside, so that's going to be a vertical dilation. by 3. Oh, I don't know why I said that. By 2. <laughs> and then nothing is with the x, uh, but we have something outside, so that's going to be translate. And because it's on the outside, we're going down 1. And now we can make our table. So, again, start with the parent. The parent is the cubed root of x. So our original x values are negative 1, 0, and 1. Find the cubed root. And then, here I'll change the color again if you want. Um, extend your table. So, um, apply our transformations to the table. So reflect over the x-axis. That's going to make our y values negative. A vertical dilation that's going to multiply our y values and then translate down one well that's gonna move our y values so we're actually not moving the x values at all um, so you can either just leave it or you can rewrite it again just to kind of help you out now let's apply so uh, negative 2 times negative 1 minus 1 so I'm just substituting in my y values it's a positive one 0 times negative 2 minus 1 is negative 1. And 1 times negative 2 minus 1 is negative 3. And now I'm going to plot these key points. So we've got negative 1, 1. 0, negative 1. And 1, negative 3. Okay, and then remember we've got that S shaped and it's been reflected over the x-axis, so that's going to look something like this. Ooh, that's bad. It's so hard on the surface, I don't know why. Mm, that's even worse. When I did it on paper, guys, it looks so good. Alright, I'm just going to stop it for now or else I'm just going to fidget with this forever. Hopefully yours looks better than mine. If not, we will all be practicing a bunch starting now. So you've got two you tries. Um, so pause this video and with your groups, I want you to work together. Um, I want you to list the transformations and graph A and B. Okay, let's focus on A first. So uh, transformations reflect over the y-axis. That is because we have a negative with the x. Horizontal dilation of 2, so because it's x over 2, um, remember it's not 1 half, it's the reciprocal, so 2. And then we've got a positive 1 on the outside, 
um, that's going to be up one. It's not being multiplied. So the flocked over y is going to affect my x values as well as the horizontal dilation. So that's how I got this negative 2x. Translating up one is going to be plus one. So I took my square root parent values um, and I applied the transformations. So zero negative 2, negative 8 are my x values, and 1, 2, and 3 are my y's. And down here is what my graph looks like. Looking at B, so this one's cubed root, so when I did my table, the parent was the cubed root of x. Looking at what I was given, I've got a vertical dilation by 3 because it's being multiplied by 3, a horizontal dilation by 4 because it's over 4, so it's the reciprocal. And then it's x minus 1, so that's going to the right. So then I use each of these transformations and apply it to my table. So horizontal dilation will be 4x, and then right one is plus 1, 3y for vertical. Substitute, and there are my key points. And I actually had a pretty good graph, so that's nice. So let's move on to given a graph, what is the equation? So example three. So recommendation. Now again, I might not require it, but I also could. Um, write the transformations. So are there any reflections? Well, yeah, because the parent is normally here. Right? Oh, that was terrible. Jeez. Okay. So it's definitely been reflected over the x-axis, okay? Um, I would look for dilations next. So normally, we go right one and up one to get to our um, next key point. So looking how you go uh, left and right and up and down, is going to tell you dilations. So here we go down one, so hasn't changed, but we're going right by one half. So this is going to be a horizontal dilation by one half. <clears throat> um, and then it's been translated, right? Because normally it's at zero, zero, but now it's at uh, 0, 4. So it's been translated up 4. So then applying that to an equation, okay, uh, reflection over x, this is a square root function. It's been horizontally dilated by 2, so I put it in as a 2 inside, and then I'm going to make that a little smaller. Uh, and then it's just going up 4. Or you could rewrite it with the 4 in front and then minus the square root of 2x. Both are okay. So let's talk about cubed root real quick. So cubed root, super similar. Um, you have to remember the way the parent looks. So remember that's looking like mm, that-ish. So it looks like it's been rotated. So that's going to be a reflection over the y-axis, okay? Um, dilations, so again, normally you go right one, up one, so how far are you going right? Well, we're going just right one, so no horizontal dilation, um, but we're going down, uh, careful of your scale, one, two, three, four, five. So it's a vertical dilation. I'm running out of time by four. And then it's definitely been translated. You can just count. Left two, up five. So I'm gonna write my equation because I got 20 seconds. <laughs> so y equals four cubed root of negative, and then put it in parentheses, x plus two plus five super fast you want to in parentheses so you don't mix up your translation